My so-called life is sponsored by... How's it going? I am Godless Sewing and this is the Godless Sewing Channel. Now, I know I endlessly talk about upcycling. I wish I knew how to quit you. So in the spirit of doing things a little bit different, I'm going to talk about all the different stitches I use and incorporate in my upcycling. <laughs> so as always, reinforce your seams and let's go sewing. All right. So I'm going to be using sewing terms, but I'm going to be using them in the hobo 1940s boxcar willy style sense. So if it's not readily identifiable or it's something you don't agree with, you know, put something down in the comments and we can argue about it. So this is an example of running stitch where I tried to keep it even in the hobo sense. And I incorporated a patch in the San Cisco style where it's one continuous thread where I was just going over and over and over. So this is a basting stitch. The beautiful thing about slow stitching is that you can take any style and make it your own. So this is what's called a whip stitch. And as you can see, I've incorporated it into something completely different, but all it is is the lines going in one direction. And when you get it, it looks great. All right. <clears throat> so this is what I call blanket stitch. In a traditional blanket stitch, you would have a little bit more spacing and it would beat out at the edges. But of course, I've incorporated my own style and I've turned it into this. But once you get it, it looks amazing. <laughs> and last but definitely not least is the catch stitch. I love this style. I um, try to incorporate it into everything. It's one of my favorite stitches that I do, and it's great for mending. Another thing about a catch stitch is that when you get a good pattern, it looks amazing. In the end, stitching is just another awesome style to incorporate into your sewing. And it helps me on my agenda to dress like I'm in a Midnight Star video. Always be yourself for those who can't. See you next time.